The Atlas Post, April 19th, 2020, Part 2, for Council Rent and Mortgage Payments, of course, due to COVID-19 or the coronavirus. This is regarding the proposal by United States Representative Ilhan Omar, serving the 5th District of Minnesota. And, of course, if you know that, you know it's in Minneapolis. So here's Part 2. And the actual name of this is called, uh, are you ready for this? To suspend obligations of residential renters and mortgages to make payments during the COVID-19 emergency and for other purposes. That's the formal name. The short name is the Rent and Mortgage Cancellation Act of 2020. And of course, there's the legislative summary which is to create a payment cancellation for all rent payments and primary residence mortgage payments for the duration of the current national emergency declaration. We mo most of us know it as uh, coronavirus or COVID-19. The moratorium will be made retroactive to cover April 2020 payments and will constitute a full, pay full payment forgiveness with no accumulation of debt for renters or homeowners. The federal government will provide relief funds to landlords and lenders, allowing them to recoup their losses so long as they abide by a set of fair renting and lending practices for a period of five years. Additionally, the federal government will create an optional buyout fund to fully finance the purchase of private rental properties by nonprofits, public housing authorities, cooperatives, community land trusts, and states or local governments. This fund will be designed to mitigate the loss of viable homes in the wake of an economic downturn, to mitigate the risk of real estate speculation, and to increase the availability of affordable and low income units in the housing market. So these are the requirements. So landlords who receive the funds through HUD program must agree to the following fair renting terms for a period of five years. A rent freeze. Now I know there's a lot of people that will be happy to hear that one um, because that's the best way to get an apartment here in Southern California or actually New York too is to have, uh, and I always call those the golden handcuffs, the rent freeze. Um, number two, just cause evictions. Number three, mandatory documentation with any just cause eviction. Number four, no, no source of income discrimination. Number five, coordination with local housing authorities to make new vacancies eligible to voucher holders. Number six, provision of 10% equity to tenants and no admission restrictions on the basis of sexual identity or orientation, gender identity or expression, conviction or arrest record, credit, history, or immigration status. Additionally, landlords cannot attempt to collect any back rent when the moratorium is lifted. They cannot retaliate in any way against residents and they cannot report residents to debt collectors or debt services to harm their credit. So recoupment, if any of the sections are violated, the federal government can re recoup the relief funding. So part of it is if you are a renter, make certain that they are going to be on top of their toes because this is one of the requirements that the landlords have to follow this agreement program. Um, and they have to follow following the fair renting terms for a period of five years. Anyway, that is part two. Stay tuned because we will have more updates coming to you because, well, let's just say this is not the first nor the last proposal when it comes to another bailout for the American public relating to coronavirus or COVID-19. So stay tuned. Also, subscribe on the button and like, and please make some comments because then um, with your comments, we'll go ahead and take a look at them and then we will answer them in future videos. So thank you for joining us. This is the Atlas Post.